Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. To, welcome to back to some more Octopath uh, Traveler Tuna. So this is the final um uh, character trailer for basically Ocheta and Cassidy, and I'm pretty sure Cassidy. I know Ocheta is the hunter. I'm pretty sure Cassidy is the the priest or the healer. Uh oh no, the apothecary. Oh okay. So um yeah, I know this is pretty late because like right after I upload this, we're gonna be seeing the direct. And honestly, I'm not expecting much. Like, if they talk about Octopath Traveler 2 in the direct, I don't think they're going to reveal any new information. I mean, they're probably simply going to drop a demo right after the direct. So that's all I'm <laughs> expecting. So, But yeah. still, we're going to be able to learn more about the characters and about, like, a little bit tidbit that's new to this game. Because the other trailers have done that, so I hope the tidbit they reveal to us is actually, like, good for this game. That would be nice, yeah. All right, so let's play it and let's see what we get to learn about the characters. Okay. Is the volume good for you, Alex? Hey, oh, yeah, that's fine. All right. Plus, there's subtitles, which helps. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing I have subtitles. In. I know. Everything in balance, all in moderation. Cassidy? You sound like my mother. I thought it was Cassidy, not Cassidy. Yeah. Oh. Despite your troubles with humans, you live a carefree life until you learn the calamity as the night of the scarlet moon. I've killed for food, sure. Never for hatred's sake. It approaches, as I take it, the night of the scarlet moon. Flee! It's too strong. Come on! You wanna fight? Ochet can set monsters upon townspeople oh. to provoke them into battle. Oh, oh great. She can also befriend people with delicious food and take them along. Oh. Okay. This is food to get a support. Okay. Alright, so that's her nighttime ability. That's nice. Cool. Activate her latent power to let her inner beast loose, allowing her to use powerful skills. You must go, Ochet. Wait, okay. what? The tiger So her, her master is a tiger, I guess. This peril by gathering the three creatures of legend. Desperate to save your home, you set sail in search of those who can help. Okay. So you're basically finding like these three kind of like powerful creatures. Cool, the legendary Pokemon. I, I fuck, I don't know. She doesn't look I'm like sorry, a apothecary, though. Really can't remember anything. She looks kind of like a nurse. Mm -hmm. Discovered a drift to see you with you know, any memories. Your only clues are your satchel and your skills as an apothecary. You're one of them, aren't you? Heirs apothecaries. A likely story. We're on to you. Who I was and what I've done, I cannot say. Nevertheless, right now, all I want is to help the people of this town. Casty can inquire to obtain information from townspeople. So that's Alphonse. She mm -hmm. can also use the medicine she has on hand to soothe them to sleep. Wait, what? Oh. In battle, what the fuck can does that do? And I guess that like stops them. Like it basically lets you go places. Oh, okay. Activate her latent power, and she can concoct with. Oh wow! Enemies. Nice. What the fuck? Really? Do you remember how good Concoct was before? Holy shit! Yeah, and after playing it for the I second time, Concoct is really good. I know. I forgot it's like random, yeah, with uh, without materials. Unable to ignore the nagging feeling within you, you embark on the journey to recover what you lost. Which is your memories, I guess. Mm -hmm. I... Yeah. Huh. Traveler's tale. tale has a unique structure. Okay. Take the hunter Ochen, for example. She must choose which companion to bring on her adventure. Huh? The merchant Particio can head to his next objective or follow the scent of commerce. Through name, the what? thief must decide whether to confront mother or father first. You are free to choose their path as you see fit. Oh, so it's not like a chapter one, chapter two, chapter three thing. You get basically, basically like um, 
you're gonna like for Agnes, um, she has to decide whether to kill her mother or father first. But either way, one of them is like chapter two, and then the next will be like chapter three. I see. So, you, so basically, the the difficulty will likely scale based on the. Yeah. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of like the story can go one of two ways, which is something. It gives you like I guess a little bit more freedom. It gives you freedom and a bit more replayability, I suppose, because the story can go more than one way, I think. Though they'll probably do it where it and like it'll come back to the same same point. Like the chapter four will be the same. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm thinking, at least. That's from what I'm getting from like so far from like how they tell about this. Like, yeah, that's how I'm thinking it is with this too. Mm -hmm. Like know. it's an interesting like it's interesting compared to like with Octopus, but like the first. Yeah, one. Octopath has like very linear like paths for the traveler stories but you could do them at any time mm -hmm. so this is like they added something else to that oh third thing not agnes my bad yeah no, agnes has like well, actually we don't know how her relationship with family is but i mean she's not going to kill them <laughs> so I start, yeah okay so they're talking about the um so they're like the side quests and stuff yeah like with that one fucking wolf in octopath one which will fuck you up mm -hmm. Who's like harder than the final boss? Is in your hands. Oh shit! The fuck up, Agnes. Where will you go? Which path will you take? Holy shit! Damn. Every choice is yours Ooh. to make. Oh, that's a boss. Yeah, they actually chapter. like move. No, I know, like that. That's a chapter boss too. But yeah, they did move. Like they had an animation for that. Embark on an adventure all your own. Okay, yeah, and we're watching the Nintendo Switch version of this trailer because, um, well, I'm yeah. because when I get this game, I'm definitely gonna like play it on the Switch. I don't own a PlayStation no. console. Yeah, and also like, I mean, even though I could possibly tear this on my toaster, I mean, this game was for was first on Switch. I feel like it will always, I will always view it as like a Nintendo Switch like product. Hmm. And I mean, I don't really have much to say about this trailer. Like, I mean. Agnes or no Cassidy oh, and Ochetta Cassidy and Ochetta. I mean, I wasn't really that um interested in them to begin with because they're the hunter and the apothecary. Fair. I think the they'll be interesting characters just like everybody else. Like I think they'll have good stories, or at least pretty decent ones. Yeah, like the um, ones like the characters I'm most interested in are obviously Hikari and Oswald. I'm very interested in them. I'm also interested in the priests just to see, um, like, Tenebris, what the fuck is happening with him. Because he definitely doesn't seem as, like, kind of nice as Ophelia did in Octopath 1. Mm -hmm. So you wonder, like, why is he a priest? <laughs> yeah. And I think when I do pick the game up, I'm definitely going to, like, pick one of them. Like, either Hikari or Oswald. Yeah. No, I, I think so. Um... We'll work it out as we go, because that's a that's a then decision, which is in like seventeen days, but still. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, damn, you're right. Oh my god. I I've been counting down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we don't really have much to talk about with this like trail. I mean, the information I have to say for this trail was pretty like it wasn't bad, but it was pretty light. Like they talked about two more Stop characters which we expected. And then they talked about the Traveler's Tales, where we can basically choose, like, in what order we want to complete each, like, character's stories. And then the side quests, like, when they started talking about the side quests, I, I think they realized, yeah, we're kind of out of information. <laughs> yeah, it's like, we're padding the runtime, but, like, yeah, there's side quests in a fucking turn-based RPG. Crazy, my guy. And that was in the first wow. game. Like, everything they've talked about in the other games, that was not in the first game. Like... Yeah, it's the new stuff, but this is, like, we've been here. Yeah, we get like... It. And, like, there was only, like, one side quest that was, like, worth doing in the original, and I'm, like... Well, that's one the one side that's quest tree, the, I should That's the say. one that's for the secret boss. That's, like, the side quest series. Mm -hmm. But oh, aside from that, the other ones are really good to do, and, like, can give extra world building and stuff, and just, like, be good stories in general. Like, they're all really good. Yeah. And some even give good rewards, too. Yeah, but, but it's just that, like, when it comes down to it, you're just interested in, like, the... Like, if you're interested main, in that stuff, go right ahead. character stories are most likely going to be more interesting. If they're not, that's a whole nother problem. But mm -hmm. 
So, yeah. I mean, I think the character stories will definitely be pretty good. I mean, like, I didn't, like, I'm not going to say I hated any of the other characters, like, stories in the first one. They were all good. Like, there were just, like, some I liked better than others. Yeah. I agree with that. Mm-hmm. Like, the only one that I felt that was flawed was, like, Ulbrick, but, you know, I made a whole video about that, so I'm not going to, like, repeat what I said. I feel you, though. Mm-hmm. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for this video. I'm sorry that we were a bit late on this. It's just that with, you know, Fire Emblem Engage coming out, we had other priorities. Like, this, like I've said this before, this is always a Fire Emblem channel first, and it'll probably always be a Fire Emblem channel first. But, you know, there will always be, like, other um, RPGs that if me and Alex are interested in, we will cover them. It's just that, like, Fire Emblem comes first on this channel. It's primarily a Fire Emblem channel. And then we do other stuff, too. I mean, like... Dark Deity was fun. Mm -hmm. Like, stupid it's... was fun, but <laughs> yeah. very stupid. But yeah, and you know, doing triangle strategy and everything else in a bu bunch of different RPGs. It's mainly, it's an RPG channel under over, underlying, but overlying. The first thing is it's Fire Emblem, mm -hmm. and it's which is it, an uh, RPG, but still, like, this will always be a Fire channel first, and RPGs, other RPGs come second. Yeah, pretty much. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you um, possibly, like, I don't think they'll even reveal another trailer about this game. I mean, I guess I, we'll... I think the next time we're seeing them is probably the release of Octopath. That or in the demo that they'll release, because I'm they have to release a demo about this game. If they don't, I will honestly be shocked. Square Enix has been doing that very frequently, so and they do it again. This it's is the 17 days, so there's enough time. Like, Team Asylum has made all, like, the games, like, um, let's see, they made Octopath Traveler 1, they made Bravely Default 2, Triangle Strategy, Live Alive, and all of those demos that was made by Team Asano, they all got demos. So if this one doesn't get a demo, I will honestly be shocked. to be, like, if you really want to experience the gameplay of Octopath Traveler 2, play the first one. Like, that's going to be the worst thing they could say in the direct. Yeah. All right. Anyway, like I said, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye now.